So I had a customer send me this picture and ask, hey Justin, can you make me a tool that could give me this texture so I can make fillet weld looking impressions on my pottery? And this is what I made him. So in case you're curious, how do you make models to make texture wheels like that, Justin. I don't know how you would go about doing it. Uh, in this case, I use Tinkercad, which is free and online. And if you have a 3D printer, you, you already know about this. There's no way you don't. Uh, it's just that good. But you can see here's, here's what we did. I made a series of kind of coins that I set on their edge and put them in an array in a circle. And how this software works is you can uh, take all sorts of different things and you know you put them together and we can join these and it becomes one so in the same way let me take this apart ungroup and now you can see I have a separate hole there and we will these are all separate things see so how do you make a concave I wanted to offer one of each concave and convex I wasn't sure which was going to look more like a real weld in real life so I took this pattern uh, you know made it a little bit different size but let me open this up for you and you can see we'll ungroup and we'll ungroup again and you can see I turned all of these coins you can come over here and make anything a whole you can make any object solid or whole and then you add them together and it will cut out a in this case a convex wheel so I wanted to have a Kind of a wing nut you can see the hexagon in the bottom but i want the little wing nut nut driver tool to come with it so you don't have to go get a wrench first kit will come with these six wheels right here a concave and a convex in three different heights that'll come with the kit all right well let's get out to the shop and put the handle together and get this thing wrapped up And I have no idea, maybe this is way too big of a fillet. I could probably get a bigger wheel out. I just want to feel how well does this shove that in there. Hmm. Well, if I was a welder, that sure looks like I put three passes on instead of one. Let's try on this side. I'll make it a little skinnier this time. Well, I think it would take some practice to really figure out how to do it, but I think that looks pretty good. If you wanted it to look like a weld on your hand build project, I don't know, I call that a success. I want to try like running it around the rim of the pot. So let's try that. Better get out my little tool. Well, that's kind of fun. Let me see if I can roll it over. Ooh, that worked pretty good. Let me get a skinny one on and we'll see if we can put like another line on it. Well, it went way more than I needed to, but that's a really pleasant pattern. 
Oh, I like that. Let me put one more right here. Hmm, nice. Well, there you are. So, I think that works pretty good. Let me know what you think. Thank you, Phil, for the idea, and I will have a half a dozen of these or so on the website for somebody who wants one of these tools. And I am going to follow up. You know, the idea of a texture tool is something I haven't followed through on. I've been wanting to make for a while, but this idea of something that looked kind of like a weld uh, was enough to make me make this tool, but I will be making uh, additional wheel sets and offering this for sale with different patterns as well, but for now, I'm going to throw a half a dozen of these on the website, and you can buy one if you want one.